Kara Eames and her dog Gus are on the mend. It's time for their daily walk. The physical wounds of Kara and Gus are healing. One week after being attacked by a pit bull during their morning neighborhood walk, Kara cannot leave her home without taking a can of bear mace. Instead of strolls around the neighborhood in East Central Fresno, it short walks up and down her street. He's mostly himself and um, seems to be not just physically but emotionally making a really good, really good recovery here. So I'm incredibly grateful. Kara says there have been lingering effects with Gus. He sometimes hides in the back of the closet now, which he never did that before. It was the intervention of a sheriff's detective who just happened to be in the neighborhood on his way to work who made the rescue. One week later, Kara says she's recovering physically from her bites and all around soreness. The actual experience was quite traumatic. The visual, the sound, the length of time that it went on and so um, I'm doing what I can to kind of heal myself emotionally, take good care of myself. You know, we want to get back to walking in the neighborhood at, at some point and we've so far just walked a little bit in the street um, and even when I do that I, I'm, I'm quite vigilant and even though this was a a really rare experience, I can tell I'm just, I'm quite on guard um, after, after what happened. The irony is that Kara is a psychologist in a private practice. So actually a lot of my patients have met Gus and so when they saw his picture or they saw me, they were distraught. So there's been an element of responding to um, my patients, current patients and former patients who have reached out and expressed concern and care. I also reached out and spoke to a psychologist who would be a therapist for me to process this too because we, we are all human. The owner in last week's attack has come forward and apologized to Kara. He's shocked that, and doesn't understand like what happened or how this happened. He understands how his, his dog got loose from his yard um, from his backyard got loose while the owner was away at work but uh, the owner seems um, kind of just doesn't doesn't know what to make of it and he expressed a real genuine apology for what has happened. A spokesman from the Central California SPCA tells GV Wire that the dog will be returned later this week pending modifications to the home and fines paid. That worries Kara. For me personally, I don't think I could feel safe in my neighborhood knowing that this dog is in the neighborhood because of the potential for it to happen again. <laughs> As of now, no criminal charges are pending. Kara is considering her options when it comes to civil legal matters. David Taub, GV Wire.